everyone welcome back to my channel i do apologize i have not uploaded any videos since the last one which was a demo for desire and soul focus so check my channel out for that video if you're interested on how the roland vt4 works for this video we're gonna try a little bit something different i'm gonna be talking about how i do my setup whenever i'm gonna do streaming or live video jamming sessions on twitch and how I set up and plug everything and even in OBS, which is this, the platform that I use for streaming and even recording this video, I recorded through OBS. So without further ado, let's go. In terms of slides, I divided them between Ro Roland VT4 and the Novation Circuit. But right now I am, you can convert both of them. You can use them together like I am right now. So currently this slide for the Roland VT4 I'm going to start with how you input sound. The XLR goes into the microphone that I'm using right here. And then this printer cable goes into my computer, whether it's through a USB hub or straight into the USB outlet of the computer, doesn't matter. Right now I'm actually running it through an RGB headphone stand that I have and it's working just fine. So props to Roland on that. You would then go into your, I use Windows, I am not a Mac person, so I go into my Windows sound settings and I change the input to the in wet. And then these are two other screenshots that I took from the user's manual to explain a little bit more of which of the three ins is the correct one and which of the three outs to use. So I'm using the in wet because I want to have the post post processing effects to go through and then in terms of headphones right now I can hear myself through the headphones these are normal headphones either keep it through normal cable straight into the front panel of my Roland VT4 which would be right there make that into OBS and then from OBS is where I record or do my streams and that's it so this slide is just for fun. I just put it here and for those and that didn't know where to get the user's manual for the Roland VT4, you can download it from their website. But I think it's a very interesting block diagram and it'll help you understand a lot of how the different signals work and how the Roland processes the information and also how the USB ins and the outs are defined. I did take another screenshot from the user's manual here so that you can have all of the effects and you understand what the different combinations are and what kind of sounds the Roland VT4 gives you. So the Novation circuit is more plug and play. So I have the power here. I have the USB type B, which is the printer cable again. It supports MIDI, but it does not transfer data in terms of music data. Like it's not like the Roland VT4 where you can choose your different channels like synth one or synth two or your drums it does not do that it's only for its own proprietary software from novation and then last but not least we i have the cable the line out for audio on the left side you can do left or right doesn't matter i just post process this after and this is the cable that i use it goes out as a guitar size cable like the one fourth and then it goes into my computer as a one eighth to my light to the line in of my capture card and then in obs i have to do setup so that it properly detects the novation circuit obs i go into the obs settings i choose the audio so this is the screenshot of how it would look like in obs i go to audio and then under global audio devices, that's where I choose how many channels in OBS I want. So I want it as a default. It is not these headphones, I have other headphones. The second audio I want are these headphones and these I set up under the out VT4. So OBS feeds from what the sound settings in Windows is. Then as my, these are the outputs and as my inputs, I have two. I have the wet, which is from the VT4, which isn't by default, right? The microphone. 
And then I have the line in, which would be the Novation Circuit. That's my capture card, the Avermedia Life Gamer HD2. Once you have that set up, you go into your audio mixer in OBS, and this is a screenshot of how mine looks like on this setup for this video. I have the desktop audio, so whenever, if I want to do a little bit later a demo of how everything works, I can listen to Spotify or YouTube in the background. So for the purposes of this video, the reason why I have the Out VT4, I had it there just as a sanity check. And last but not least, here's where the real magic happens. So on your audio mixer for OBS, you do a right click and you go into advanced audio properties. And this window comes up. Once you're in the advanced audio properties, you go into the Novation circuit and you click mono. This will automatically make it stereo for you. The next step is to click the monitor and output. That is very critical. But if you do that, in my case, it's the desktop audio. You have to put that as monitor only. And that's it, you guys. That's how I do my setup. For me, at least, if, there might be easier ways to do this, but this is the only way that I found that works for me. So please comment below, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, go watch my other videos. And let me know if you guys have anything else, any other questions. Bye.